Hi guys. How are you all today morning? Good morning. Today is 9th May 2023. My name is T.S.V. Raghavan and I live in Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. This is my spiritual vlog on YouTube. Hari Bol T-R-S-V Nectar N-E-C-T-A-R Nectar In this particular vlog, in all my previous videos, we have been discussing about the knowledge and information that we have gleaned through the study of spiritual books, scriptures, contemplation on the material universe and meditation on the spiritual universe. This particular vlog or video in this vlog is no exception to that rule. It is actually a mere continuation of what we have been doing in my all previous videos. Hence, please subscribe to this vlog and press the bell icon so that I may keep reminding you of my other videos. Today, let us continue with the discussion about the five necessary evils that plague a living entity in this material universe as per Lord Krishna in Srimad Bhagavad Gita. We have already discussed in detail about the first, lust, second, anger, third, greed, and fourth, illusion. Today we shall talk about Ahankara or Ego, the fifth and last evil among the first five. This Ahankara or Ego is not exactly the real Ego, but it is the false ego. There are three types of ego according to spiritual life. They are false ego, ego and super ego. We shall discuss about them in this particular video. False ego, the one that is considered to be the fifth evil, is a glue and a catalyst that glues the four layers of material body that wrap around the soul of a living entity in this material universe. We all know there are four layers, causal body of intelligence, astral body of mind, feelings and emotions, etheric body of senses and the gross body, which is the front of a living entity in a particular birth. These four are glued together by a catalyst called false ego. What is false ego? When a living entity identifies himself or herself 
with the physical body or the four layers of the material body and considers him or her as the identity in this material universe being that body then that is known as false ego when the living entity identifies himself or herself with this body he or she conveniently forgets that this body is applicable or useful or existing only in this particular body the second is the real ego in this a person who is spiritually inclined considers himself as a, an ego which was once a spiritual spark and which had come become an ego when it came in touch with the material universe and it, he or she knows that this soul which is his or her ego will pass on from one body to another during infinite births and deaths but there is one other ego called the super ego in that very much spiritually evolved people consider themselves as nothing but a spiritual spark in the spiritual whole or a part and parcel of the supreme personality of godhead in that process they blend their identity with the supreme supreme personality of godhead or with the super soul and they don't want to be separated in that case it is called super ego we are discussing about the first part the false ego this false ego is born out of a subtle vanity of a living entity towards his or her individuality and illusion of being indispensable and invincible every living entity has this ego and unless and until that particular living entity gets spiritually evolved he or she may not go to the second level of real ego where the person identifies himself or herself with the soul of that living entity almost 95% or at least 90% of living entities in this world or this society identifies itself with this body of this particular birth they choose to conveniently forget the true nature as an initial spiritual spark which became a soul and that's why they are actually souls people don't want to believe this because it does not suit their purpose in the run for life or death in a particular birth they are too busy in the materialistic life to bother about their spiritual evolvement they have to keep fighting with the various tensions 
and problems in life in a particular birth to identify with that soul. This is the main reason for the problems in the sense that because they identify with their bodies as a false ego, they keep doing things or activities that they would not have done as a soul or a, as a part of the super soul. It is because they have identified with the body that they commit many things, karma or other activities which bind them to this material world. When you do something in this material world which is not connected spiritually, it tends to bind you and to add to your sanchit karma. As long as you have not worked out your karmas of every birth, you may not become evolved to become become evolved to reach self-realization. It is very rare for a person to become spiritually aware during his or her lifetime in between, in which case because of his or her thoughts and meditation on the self, all the sanchit karma get burned and so this person becomes self-realized and can escape future births and deaths and get liberated. We all must think about this and pray to God that all our sanchit karma should be burned in the spiritual fire that we have ignited to become self-realized so that we may reach the next step of liberation as fast as possible. That is the real aim of life for every human living entity. As long as he or she identifies with the false ego, he or she is entangled to this material world and from this material world there is no escape for that particular soul. We must realize this and act accordingly. Kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this particular matter. Please give me your own expert thoughts, ideas and views so that I may keep reminding you of my other videos and blend your thoughts to mine for the sake of this society. Before concluding, let me remind you that I am also a published author with Amazon Kindle and paperback. I write on spiritualism, fiction and assorted subjects. Spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject. Before we meet in my next video, it is good morning from TSV Raghavan.